Peace and power. Welcome back to the next nuclear radio show. I am your host, Zireas Razus Nuclear, leader of the United Nations Next Nuclear. Again, welcome back to the next nuclear radio show. I am your host, Zireas Razus Nuclear, leader of the United Nations Next Nuclear. And today's topic is how brightness influences the 3D world. How brightness influences the 3D world. Again, how brightness influences the 3D world. So, Upon using logic and rationale and just critical thinking, you know, I mentioned before, you know, we are these bright luminaries who are bringing in this next world. We are at the forefront of supremacy and we are are at the forefront of true power, true power within us coming in a collective. That true power is what pushes us forward, The, the envisioning. Or the the visions that we see us as these supreme lords, as these as these supreme gods, what they people want us to um, think as, but we're we're supreme beings in general. You know, whether you call yourself a god, whether you call yourself a lord, but we all represent that um that brightness or that intelligence that is influencing the world around us. You know, even in our primitive state as those so called black people, you know, we were still influencing everyone around us. You know, you you had some of these Caucasians, some of these some of these humans, you know, humans in general, trying to you know be like us, you know, be like our people of the past. You know, they're they're, they're trying to embody that um you know that old dead energy of our what you say ancestors. You know, it's not it's not dead energy, but yeah, it's dead it's dead energy because we're moving forward and we're we're creating our own energy by opening up this um you say opening up that pathway to the fourth dimension by us leading the way as the collective of UNONC. So we're ultimately influencing the actions, the thoughts, and, you know, everything else as far as just how this plan is run. You know, everything from what we see in politics as of right now, you know, they're answering to a higher source and they're they're answering to us, our higher selves, as those Anunnaki as those Nuteru, you know, those supreme people that are at the forefront of, you know, control of this this earth or this plane, you know, but we happen to be those descendants. So we fail. We fail from that particular source of power. We we fail from, you know, being these supreme beings. And now we're working our way back up. And now as brightness we're pushing ourselves back up and a lot of people are not going to be able to, you know, make this path or be continuous on this path because this is a, a path for the strong, the strong minded, the strong souls who are ultimately the forefront, who are ultimately, you know, the influential people, the influential beings who will bring in this next world, who will ultimately, you know, set it back in balance. That is us as the collective UNONC. We are that bright bronze collective. And, you know, the other bronze collective that's out there, you know, we see that our our destiny, our predestined um, purpose is to ultimately, you know, be the intelligence, you know, being the being the influence that, you know, ultimately we want to be. You know, where where the influence, whether we're in our, you know, primitive state or our higher selves, you know, we we still get those looks from the other races of people and they, they look up to us. So if they see that we're uncomfortable, then they're uncomfortable. If we're happy, they're happy. That's how much influence we have, because, you know, it's it's dangerous to see a so-called serious black man or a serious bronze man who is of importance, who is of purpose, who ultimately has a direction in his or her life. You know, when they see a, a a serious bronze man or woman with purpose, you know, that's 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 kind of threatening to them because they don't want us to be serious. They hate us when we're serious. When we're serious, we're in the right state of mind. When when we're serious, we are in our right state of mind. So when you have all of these, you know, you know, all these people trying to, you know, tell us how to act, how to think, how to speak, you know, that is the so-called artificial trying to you know push their influence on us and the artificial being the lunar people those lunatics or those lunatics who are trying to ultimately you know 
trying to stop us from being able to connect to our higher selves, being able to connect to that, you know, extended lifeline of supremacy that, that is being given to us by way of, of our higher selves, by way of those Anunnaki, by way of those Duteru, by way of those Amin beings. We are ultimately following the path of them. Not following the path. Well, you yeah, were ultimately following the path of them. And we're ultimately restoring supremacy on this planet. We need to bring back supremacy because supremacy is what kept us, you know, with that purpose. You know, the more that we kept seeing ourselves as greater than everyone else, the more we come together. The, the time or the day that we actually come together and say, yeah, fuck everybody else. It's all about our people. When we come to that mind state or that that mindset um, that we don't have to answer to anybody else. We don't have to accept their influence on us, whether it's their egos, whether it's, it's their abstract philosophy and ideology. We have to stop it once and for all. We have to stop it and we have to change things around. You know, we have to go from those light beings to those bright beings, so bright that they can't even, you know, be in our presence, so bright that, that when they stare in our eyes, when I mean, they can't even stare in our eyes because we're so bright. They can't even, you know, get a glimpse at just staring at us in our eyes because they can't take that radiation. They can't take that, you know, that judgmental stare. They can't, you know, fathom or understand who we really are. So we, we ultimately have to show them or not even that. We just do what we came here to do. We keep spreading our brightness. We keep, you know, pushing our influences on them. And, and you see how it's working. You know, everybody wants to, you know, be like a, a nigger sagging their pants, talking that slang. You know, that has influenced a lot of these humans. And now you see them acting like niggers. You call them wiggers. You call them chiggers. You know, all of these, you know, different races that have been influenced by hip hop, you know, that's another way I would say we become we're more, more influential than we think we are because we we control people through music, through jazz, through through blues, through all these different forms of frequencies of music that ultimately have influenced the world. It it has stretched across this great, great, great plane and our influence is still, even to this day, as powerful as it was back in the ancient times. But we've able to we've been able to, what you say, modernize or move the planet forward by way of our influences. You know, we can move this planet forward by way of our influences, our influences by whether we're on TV, you know, social media, whether it's all these other, you know, forms of, you know, casting your image outwardly or casting your your voice outwardly about me doing this podcast you know that is me trying to influence the minds of our people raising the minds of our people and that's not that's not a bad thing to actually want to influence people to do better for themselves what's wrong with that what's wrong with that what is wrong with with influencing the minds of our people and you can't and you won't get an answer because the only ones who are, you know, complaining about that are the ones who are the bitter ones, those crab in the barrel ass niggers, those crab in the barrel humans, you know, fuck all of them because they're not going to aid in our evolution. They're going to say, oh, we need to change, but never give you any, you know, bona fide or definite way to change. So we're our way of, of, of evolving, not changing, but our way of evolving is gathering collectively, gathering the minds Gathering those bright bronze minds, those our bright, beautiful bronze men and women, you know, all us coming together and unifying. That is the site of influence, because when we come together, nothing can split us apart. Our influence as a collective will ultimately shift this planet. It will shift it into a higher, say, personified state or a higher um, state of putting out transmission and, you know, putting out heavy heavy waves of frequency through the atmosphere. When we become that influential, we will be, be able to, you know, send mental messages and mental pictures in space. We can do it in space and time right now, but, you know, we can do it within, you know, the upper and outer spaces. We're breaking different, you know, barriers, different, you know, ram, you know, different barriers, different, um, you know, say, would you say structures that will ultimately, you know, slow down our, our what you say, frequencies or what we're, we're, we're going and ultimately, you know, stepping aside and, you know, we're seeing what's happening. We're stepping aside 
or stepping forward, we're stepping forward to to ultimately, um, you know, be these guiding lights, be these these luminaries. I'll keep saying it all the time, but luminaries where where would you say the brightness and out of brightness comes light and that light with these humans see within those planets that are in our atmosphere, what they call stars, you know, we ultimately have to keep moving forward. We, we have to keep moving forward in order for us to be those luminaries. We can't stop because when we stop, that stops the flow of that, that pure energy, that cosmic energy that's radiating down here on this planet. When, when we stop dead in our tracks, then that means that, that there's no power and there's no, um, there's no energy. We have to keep moving. Anything that's not in motion is not producing power. So when we're in motion, when we're developing this planet in the future and in, in, in the now, again, when we're developing this planet in the future and in the now, we will put out so much power, so much energy that, you know, it's going to take notice. People are going to notice us, you know, shifting. We aren't the same people that we were last month. Our minds have ultimately, you know, would you say stepped into that or, you know, got accustomed to everything around us. You know, and when your mind is accustomed and you get comfortable, you know, being influenced by these these humans, these artificial misfits, when you get custom, uh, when you get accustomed to, you know, being influenced by the religion, by their, you know, science, by their math, by their philosophy, then you ultimately are playing yourself. You're playing yourself because we as these bronze beings don't need them to to control us. We don't need them to tell us what to do. We have minds of our own where we already are intelligent. But when you have that mindset, when you when it's constantly being pushed down to you that you a nigger, that you not shit, you know, that stops us from, you know, seeing ourselves as influential. When you when you look around, you see all these other races of um people playing our music whether it's the the grimiest and dirtiest kind of music you could ever listen to but they're still influenced we those enchanters you would say we, we enchant people through music we enchant people through multimedia you know all facets of multimedia we are able to you know influence them on such a level that you know they love us that it's like a love and relationship because they know who we are you know we are those luminaries we're the brightness we're that where that um that energy that is on this planet, you know, spreading the awakening of our people, you know, this frequency that we're we're putting out by way of our by way of our um extended thinking, the power that we put out by way of our extended thinking um is literally opening up portals on this planet. We're allowing all of this energy to, to come through and it's charging us up. It's charging us up. There are literally holes within this realm. There are literally holes that are being opened up within this realm. And, you know, a lot of things are coming in here, you know, different, um, you say different. I guess what people are seeing now that they're, they're seeing different um, beings coming through here. But that's through our influence, our, our influence. We want this to happen. But the tearing down of this old system, you know, the breaking down of this old system, in order for it to become new, we have to tear it down. So we're doing all that we can do. We're manifesting all, you know, and I, I say manifesting, but, you know, we're we're creating things within just, just using our thought, but producing it in the physical. We're influencing everything here on this planet. Because we're so bright, you know, we act as the sun. Everything that we, you know, that we put ourselves into, whether, you know, just our mind, bodies, and souls into, we ultimately alter it. We alter it for the greater good. If we are in the right state of mind, if we are within balance. And, you know, we can look at brightness from a perspective of, you know, the beginning when they said, scientists so-called said that the whole Big Bang Theory, you know, that Big Bang Theory constantly, well, from a understanding point of view, you know, we created that bang. We created, you know, everything from us. You know, it took all of that energy, it took all the radiation, all that heat and energy to form this solar system. It took all of that heat, energy, mental currency 
to be able to produce something as logical and rational as a solar system, meaning a a charging um what you say a charging dock or a charging place for you know a lot of our um interstellar brothers and sisters who come through here within our atmosphere they they travel and so when they come here they they rest in charge you know this is this is what the influence of the soul force is with ultimately the brightness represents the soul force which is intelligence that grows everything on this planet but that soul force ultimately is um it's influential because you see these humans i'm telling you they 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 try to recreate our jazz they try to recreate everything that we made from you know our authentic souls whether it's the you know blues music whether it, like i said we we influence them on all levels you know it doesn't matter what even in sports you know we're we're so powerful you know them they're the watching superheroes pretty much why the superheroes battle out playing basketball playing football they they get influenced by our greatness by our abilities our what you say supernatural abilities our you know you know out of the ordinary abilities that we possess within us they these humans get wooed they get put in a trance they get put in trance and from there you know it's it's all about you know our influence because they pay us money you know they they pay these, these athletes so much money to you know put their bodies on the line whether it's in football basketball but you know that's because they know how much you know them being idols you know them them being idols they they influence a lot of people whether it's from your whole LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, you know, those particular idols influence millions and millions of people. And guess what? They're bronze beings. They're bronze men and bronze women also who are, you know, influential. You know, yo, Venus Serena, you know, she's a very, very good tennis player. But just who she is embodying that feminine energy ultimately, ultimately is an influence on many, many, you know, tennis players you know, black and white, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But she influences the millions based off what she embodies. Strong feminine energy. You know, we, we embody that. We influence these humans. We, as a collective of bright bronze people, we in, we influence these humans by, by way of our masculine and feminine energy. They feel that, you know, when they, you know, see us make love or, you know, show love to one another. It's like, you know, it's different when we do it because... It's more passionate. It's real. When you see these people making love and, and doing what they're doing, it's it's so watered down and it's dry and it's low vibrational. It, it's not of the same as a solar force. You know, when you, okay, we can say like this, you know, when a man ejaculates into the woman, you know, that explosion, that explosion ultimately in comparison would be to like a supernova and how that so-called Big Bang Theory created everything that we know in existence right now. You know, that's the influence, that big bang, that initial um, pebble being dropped inside the pond, creating all those different rings of, you know, vibration. That's ultimately what we represent as the initial, initial first element that came down here and that ultimately shifted things forward. We shifted things forward by way of, by way of just our brightness our intelligence you know those 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 pyramids that we're seeing all over the world you know those are still you know those marvels those great works are very very influential to this day and they know that our people made those those towers you know we we, we made those pyramids here in america you know and in some all over the, all over the world you know we we made these pyramids because we know you know a lot of them don't even know what they're used for, but even to this day, they're they're still you know in awe and in shock as as to how they were made because you don't see them making them anymore. You know, they wonder and question how we made those pyramids with without the the need of we'll say power tools and hand tools, but we didn't need that back then. We had so much influence and so much power that we could do basically with our minds. You know, telekinesis, being able to lift things with your mind. You know, you didn't you didn't have to have physical strength everything back then wasn't as physical and so you know conceptualized as we may see it maybe back then you know that like, like i said our our influence even throughout history as these great kings and these great um queens you know queen khalifa 
you know, for California, you know, her name, you know, as a bronze woman, her name is still so influential that they named a state after her. California, Khalifa, California, you know, all of these particular, you know, we we see how much of an influence we are. Now, if we turned our negative influence on these people and turned it into a neutral influence, you know, to where, you know, we're not, you know, buying, you know, like we're not basically tearing ourselves down. Whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, we're not tearing ourselves down because we have to be a a influence to where it everything is shifted. And we're doing it now. We're doing it now by gathering, you know. We're supposed to be a gathering sometime, you know, sometime this week. But we're we're doing that because we know how beneficial it is. How beneficial it is for us to come together and act as that intelligence, as the brightness that the move the planet for. You know, you would think, prime example, let's let's go even deeper. You know, well, all these basketball players, you know, all of these, you know, because millions and millions of people go out there and watch these entertainers do what they have to do. Whether you're on, on sports, whether you're in, you know, comedy, whether you're in, you know, music, you know, all these influential bronze men and women who take part of that. You would think if they came together as a collective and created their own sports team, you know, their own sports, you know, all, all these different ven- um, venues, if we all put our minds together, we will become a mega influence like those Jews are, you know, the Jews that control all, you know, media, all social media, all, you know, multimedia is controlled by the Jews, you know, these Jewish people, excuse me, but that's influence right there. They're influencing us by, you know, HBO, CNN, Fox News, all these different, you know, streams or, you know, different avenues of multimedia that exist right now. You know, that is an influence on the minds of people. That's why there's, you know, you know that divide and conquer mentality, because when you're in control of multimedia, how people think, how people see, how people act, you become kind of like a mastermind kind of like we have to be now and next we have to be those masterminds we have to be able to take back our power by way of our intelligence take back our power by way of our intelligence we have to be influential within our mind you know people who see me or you know hear me talk they're like wow where are you getting this from because because a lot of them can't understand it because it's above their you know mental frequency or it's above that channel of channel two and channel three we're channeling four and higher we're channeling four and higher we are not going to you know sit up here and operate on the same mental level as these dead people we have to influence them to be to actually be purposeful you know if it wasn't for us you know these humans wouldn't even have a purpose because they're constantly trying to put us down only to be able to elevate themselves so if we were to take ourselves out of the picture, so that means if we take ourselves out of the picture, that means that they don't have a platform to stand on. They don't they don't have that, you know, extra that that extra um, you know, leg up to hold them or push them forward. Because once we move ourselves and take back our power, they are powerless. We become the influential people like like we were in the past. We become so influential to the point where, you know, it's just we become these rulers of these lords, these judges again. We have to become judges. We can't sit up here and, you know, let this continue to happen. You know, where when does it end? When does it end to when we're not looked as looked at as, you know, three fourths a human? Well, we're not humans no way, but that tells you a sign right there. Three quarters of a human. Based off the physical appearances of us, they would call us humans, but they know deep down inside we're not humans. You know, our influential, our influence on these people, it, it goes further than that. You know, it goes further than sports. It, it, it goes further than, you know, all types of multimedia, whether it's, you know, music and all other kinds of stuff. It's ultimately because our DNA, you know, they want our DNA so bad that they, even though they've been racist for so many, even though they've, some of the most hardcore racist that we've known are trying to, you know, come in and alter our DNA or have some influence on our DNA. 
And that can't happen. They want to have some control or some, you know, attachment to our DNA, which means they want to influence it and, and also our DNA by trying to mix in with our women and, you know, our men mixing in with their women. It's a no-no. No-no to that. We have to understand that. We have to see that when we stick to stick with our own people, when we stick with our own people, then that's the power there. That's the influence there. We become the energy because when we stop, you know, buying from these stores, you know, when we start, stop trying to, you know, help other races of people out besides helping ours. It's like, man, how could you, you know, trade on your own people? You know, we can't trade on our own people or change on our own people. We, we have to come together and stick together and be the influence of people. We have to keep spreading our influences, meaning spreading our intelligence, spreading that brightness, Spreading that brightness because brightness is what grows the planet. You know, I mentioned that the brightness from, you know, on high from the sun, because the sun is like a directed laser beam. And we're seeing that, you know, behind the firmament, behind that glass dome, you know, above, you know, when that brightness has to come down here and be converted, that is us coming down here in light form, being able to still influence these people still able to influence these people because of how much how much power we we truly have that potential energy that what they call kinetic energy this potential energy that's been stored up that's how we see ourselves we have potential power if we come together we have that potential influence if we come together it's a no-brainer at this point we have to come together we have to come together because if not because if not, then ultimately we're going to be still stuck in the same dead mindset, that same mindset that, you know, we can't, we're nothing. We're nothing when we are divided. Together we are strong. Divided we are weak, but together we are strong. Our influence together is like a, you know, intoxicating um, would you say not an alcohol beverage, but you know, just it's intoxicating because once these humans get a whiff of it or a taste of what we're doing or just a little bit of just an idea of what we're doing, then you know they ultimately are going to steal it because they know that dang, you know, we won't, they weren't channeling in that mental frequency or that much power. So it's like wow, when we are able to pull it in just like that instantly, it's like they look at us as like these what you call genies you know they hey come over here you know because a lot of them see us as that influential you know they want to get in your face start smiling because they want to be in your presence they want to suck the energy from you because they know that you're giving out plenty of radiation and plenty of heat plenty of energy that that ultimately grows them or moves them forward it pushes them forward but we got to stop giving our energy away you know for our people you know in, in order for us to really make an impact as being these, you know, influences or being, you know, influential, we must separate. Because think about it, brightness separates from light because of, you know, the different layers of the atmosphere or just the fact that it has to be converted. So it's converted by the firmament, it's converted by the many, many layers of atmosphere or many, many layers of the outer space that you know, brightness has to come travel through and then be converted into light and so forth. But that's us having to, you know, come down here in these human states or in these human flesh suits instead of coming in here as these light beings or these bright beings. We, we, it wouldn't be feasible for us to come down here because that's too much energy, especially if it's 144,000 of us in our bright forms. We're, we're pretty much putting out the same amount of energy with, if not more than the sun. So if we came down here as those influences in the, that brighter stage, then, you know, this planet couldn't take it. So we had to come down here as light, as, as visible light, meaning in the physical flesh. We became here, we came through basically the, um, through the colors RGB, red, green, and blue, which, which made us, you know, come in different, different shades of color, different, different shades of color in our skin, our auras. I mentioned that, you know, from the, the, 
the color of red, green, and blue, you get your indigos, your violets, and all those other, you know, beautiful, beautiful colors. Those colors ultimately influence a lot of, you know, the culture, the style, you know. Different, different movies, I would say, I mean, the um, different movements, like the, what you say, hippie movements or that, you know, the 1970s, late 70s to the, the early 80s, you know, that, that movement of soul. You know, we had soul and these humans had psychedelics. We had soul music. These humans had psychedelics. That type of, you know, that counterculture because they knew how influential the soul was. They knew they know how influential we are as these solar beings. Think about it. Back in the 70s, you had these white folks, you know, wearing afros and stuff, you know, trying to get their hair all curly like ours. Because we had so much influence that, you know, they want to be us so bad. That's the point I'm trying to get to y'all. They want to be us so bad that they will steal culture. They will lie to our people and tell us that, the word, that we come from Africa. You know, they'll, they'll hide all of our, you know, our history, you know, our story, pretty much our story and they'll you know try to take you know that that role as us and they can't be us whether it's the you know these mexicans trying to be you know the olmecs and the mayans which we know that they were our people so they they can't sit up there and say oh we know that's our people no it's not no it's not because you don't see okay first of all we can we can go on you know many many different different you know paths with this particular topic but we know who we are. We know what power, how, how powerful we are. We know how powerful we are. We know that our influence is, you know, way more powerful than what we could really see right now. But when we come together as a collective, you know, what we're doing now in UNONC and in other communities that I look at, the only thing that, that's lacking is sincerity. You know, do we really want this? Do we really want to, you know, step in there that role as the influencers, as the judges, as the law and order, the man being the law, the woman being the order? You know, that's it's all about accepting your role and playing your role to the best of your ability. You know, we we are doing that by, you know, influencing everybody, people in our family, you know, people who, you know, who who used to laugh at us. Are now like, dang, you was right. There, there is a change coming. There is an evolution coming. Yeah, but it's too late now. You know, you still stuck in your ways. You know, a lot of these so-called black people, you know, even these humans, you know, they they're all, you know, confused. Basically, they're confused. And I mentioned before that they try to be us and every they they tried to be the Egyptians. They tried being the Olmecs. They tried to be the Mayans. That they, they tried to be the Aztec, the Inca. All of these great governments that used to rule you know this side of the world you know they're trying to be them they tried to hide our history by saying that you know egypt was in you know a place called egypt in africa but egypt is really here in america egypt mecca and all these you know talked about places that you know happened in egypt pretty much or the the the, the continent africa actually happened here but you know we've had so much influence and we've been so We've been influenced by recessive people. We've been influenced by recessive people, these artificial beings here on this planet. The way we, like I mentioned before, the way we think, the way we talk, everything has been influenced by them. They're the ones that are at the top. They're the ones controlling everything. They're the ones in government. They're the ones basically, you know, controlling the way of lives of trillions of people. If not, you know, less than that, maybe a little bit, but they, but they have the influence of trying, you know, controlling the minds of people, trying to become masterminds, you know, that, that's their goal. But we are ultimately the true masterminds. We are the true influence or influencers on this planet. We are the true influential beings, these true influential bright browns beings on our planet. We, we influence them on every facet macro to micro or micro to macrocosm we influence them in so many ways that it's hard to be like you know it's it's sickening to 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 see us and you know you still got our people still you know tearing our own people down trying to you know still you know influence us in the same way as those beasts as those humans trying to tear us down 
trying to basically um how can I say it? trying to basically you know stop us from seeing ourselves in that brightest light or that you know bright light it tried to stop us from seeing you know everything for what it really is and they're nothing and they're powerless they're nothing and they're powerless our energy is incredible and it's it's it's, it's to the point now where we we know where we stand at we know who's who and the importance of it all is we can all as these bright bronze beings still be influential even if we're going through the toughest times even if we're going through you know some of uh, some heartaches some hardships in your life you know push through that because we have to push through that we have to push through all the things that will stop us that will act as the blockage in our lives that will stop us and be the blockage um trying to block us from going to the fourth dimension but it won't happen like that it won't happen like that it won't happen like that because we've come into our right state of mind now for the ones who have we've come into a right state of our minds or right state of mind and we know what we have to do live our lives to the fullest and spread our intelligence be fruitful and multiply multiplying you know spreading ourselves out or sexually multiplying you know multiplying as far as us men you know creating more gods like us making more clones like us making more goddesses like us by way of giving our energy into that special bronze woman and then so forth that cultivation that that influence of you know my bit of my dna and her dna creates a better picture a more influential being a more influential brighter brighter god or lord now that the brightness between us ultimately magnifies and creates a brighter image a brighter picture of us that's what it means a more extended influential brighter image of us we see that we know that's true we know that's real as of 2020 and even before you know it, it took a while for us to come into that knowledge or you know being able to accept it for what it is but we know our purpose we know that we are the extended brightness from the fourth from the eighth from the twelfth and, and upper we are that influential brightness that is moving things forward here on this planet whether it be the physical planet or just our people and these humans, the so-called black people or the humans, we have so much influence and so much power. Because when we, when we see our value, when we are able to see our value and, you know, anything that comes to, towards us that doesn't see our value is like, you know, it is what it is because our value is so much important. It's, it's, it's so important now because... We have to keep keep it going. We have to keep moving. We have to keep moving. There is no there's no stopping here at this point. Because I mentioned we we've entered a gateway. We've entered a whole new gateway or a whole new realm of living. And it's just it's just in a whole adjusting period at this point. We can still be these influential beings. We can still be those bright influences. We can still be those bright influences through, you know, many of our works. They call it, you know, being a humanitarian, which is ironic. But we ultimately have to, you know, see everything for what it is and move forward past all of it. We got to move forward. We have to, you know, as these influential beings, we don't have, as I mentioned before, we don't have time to sit up here and stop and argue and debate with people who are mentally dead. We don't need, we don't have to give energy. We don't have to feed into that. Because at the end of the day, you're going to lower your vibration. And your influence won't be as impactful as it would have been if you just don't talk or be confrontational. You know, all of that makes sense. All of that all makes sense. Us coming together is the future. Us coming together is the future. Us coming together now and next is the future. And a lot of these people 
who will sit up here and say, oh, you know, I'm not in the right place to be an influence. You know, and hey, it is what it is. We have to continue to spread our intelligence, our brightness. We are constantly pulling in in live color. In real time, in live color. We have to see it. What our purpose is, our purpose is to be, you know, that bright influence or being, you know, that bright influential, um, you know, luminary, not light, but being that bright influential luminary or us being those bright, bright, influential, influential luminaries who will take this guys, who will, you know, enter and exit this realm with ease, without restriction, without limitation. Without limitation, because we're because think about it, our influence is limitless. Our influence is limitless. It doesn't stop. It constantly keeps reverberating or spreading those um those waves after that after that initial rock that falls in the pond. Those waves keep going and 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 going. That's our evolution. It's a constant explosion forward. It's a constant explosion forward. Our influence is powerful. It's explosive. That's why you can look and see, you know, when things do pop off, when the frequency shift does happen, you see a lot of helicopters fly over. I mean, or you seeing a lot of activity in the sky because we know they know how much we're so influential that we can shift the energy on this planet with our minds. With our minds, they know how, how influential we are with our minds, with our bodies and souls. And when we can, you know, align all of those, and it's, it's basically like us activating our superpowers, both being supreme, using our influence to guide this world, to guide these humans, to guide these, you know, so-called black people who refuse to, you know, you know, who refuse to take position or take their roles, you know, play in their position, take their roles as these bright influential beings or as the bright influential, um, you know, in this third dimensional world. We have to be that those bright influences here in the 3D world. People say that's far fetched. That's far fetched. You know, it is what it is because. Why do they hate us so much? You know, you, you can't sit up there and say it's by race. It's because they know who we were. And they hate that eventually when they when they all die off, we will resume our positions as the influences on this planet to move it forward, to extend ourselves, mind, bodies, and souls, channeling in, pulling in this extended intel, extended intel that will ultimately, you know, but, but these plants and animals all you know go off of you know, they can tell when there's an energy shift getting ready to happen they can tell you know you know when things are getting ready to happen so you know we see everything for what it is we see the value of us coming together as a, as a collective because when we come together as a collective that's when brightness is more brighter you know it, it becomes well over you know extended brightness We'll put it that way. But right now, I'll use that term. But when we come together and our brightness and, and our auras are on 10 or, you know, 100 percent glowing and popping, you know, that's when things really, really, really pick up for us because we begin to get the ball rolling and then so forth. And then it, it's just continuous, that continuous evolution, that continuous soul, um, spark of soul, you know that we have within us you know not too much so but we give enough to where it's felt it's felt by everyone and that gives us the power the power to enchant you know people like a stevie wonder you know he was able to enchant these women and you know some men you know based off just just the raw just about who he is the energy that he puts out the vibration that he puts out is you know relaxing you know it's genuine us as these, you know, influential because he's influenced so many other artists, you know, not just, you know, from 
his singing and you know performance, but he's influenced people like you know your Michael ja Michael Jackson, all these all these other you know big time bronze artists, you know music artists, you know comedians, all of all of them influential people, very influential. Their brightness and you know what they're really was made of or who they really are is what you know is still recognized. You know, because they were able to still, you know, influence everyone else, even though they were going through a lot of mess in their lives. You know, the point being is, you know, connecting with us, with our people, being able to connect with our people. And then we come together and we shine bright together. When we're shining bright together, we definitely become that influence because they're like, why are these black people coming together? Why are they so happy? Why are they so happy? Because we, we realize that. You know, your biggest downfall as humans is trying to belittle us, trying to belittle us and and stop us from getting to that next point, getting to that next evolutionary stage. A lot of people, you know, can't take that. So, you know, with that being said, we just have to see us as supreme we can't see ourselves in any less light or any lesser image of us so we look big we see big and we you know we think big things into existence we just have to have the patience we have to have the patience we have to see everything for what it really is see it for what it really for what it really is and we see that if we really do come together, which we are, then, hey, that's all I can say. We just doing what we can do at this point. But we're still gathering here in the third dimension, which is which is now being kind of accepted because, you know, we can't we can't leave by ourselves. We can't ascend by ourselves. It's a process behind all of that, and it's just to you know keep on keep on what you say topic. Our influence is our influence is just be who we are. Our influence because we don't have to try that hard. You know, you see all these humans trying to you know. It's always they they call them the human race for a reason. Because they're racing against um, us. Because they know we're better. They know that we have the potential to blow up. Literally blow up. But then, you know, financially, you know, you know, you know, economically, you know, when we come together as a collective, we become the influence and we become ultimately our own power. We become our own power, our own by way of our influential actions. But we see everything for what it is. We see everything for what it is. You know, we are constantly extending every single day our minds, bodies, and souls. Our mind, bodies, and souls. It's because now, excuse me, now that we know what, what we are, now that we know our potential, so my question to you all is, So my question to you all is, what will you all do with this new newfound information? I mean, this newfound intel. How can we become that brightness that is influential? You know, that's a question that I have for my community members. You know, the my family of UNONC, the our family of UNONC. You know, we're just we're constantly you know testing ourselves, you know, pushing ourselves forward. And we're doing that, you know, pushing ourselves out of that um, that comfort zone into an uncomfortable zone. That's ultimately what it is. Being able to, you know, not giving a fuck what anyone says because you know how powerful you are and you know your worth. You know, you, you ultimately just got to, at this point, separate because a lot of people are not going to understand this or understand what I'm saying. So we have to separate separate and be the guiding lights from a distance why you think there's so much you know space between us on the ground and these planets that's that's what i mean by that in order for us to really become influential separation and we you know look for our people 
look for our people to come in here and to increase our frequency and push it forward and extend it forward. We have to see it for what it is. The more we gather, the more, you know, supremacy we get. The more we gather, the more energy is being put out. The more energy is being, you know, used up. I wouldn't say used up, but the more it's being tapped into and the more we're becoming influential. So we see all of this. We know all of this. And moving forward, we're going to still keep doing the same thing. As far as, you know, trying to awaken the minds of our people. You know, trying to, you know, because when we're awakening people, we're ultimately like that bright, that brightness you know, when somebody opens the curtains up in your room, when it's all dark, you know, that brightness that comes in and pierces your mind, body, and soul, it pierces your eyes. That's how our influence is going to be. It's going to touch people's hearts. It's going to pierce, the, you know, their ego and kill their ego. And, you know, it's ultimately going to make everyone feel good about themselves. Because our people have to keep, you know, raising up, you know, giving us those positive affirmations about ourselves. You know, we are beautiful. You know, we are good, strong people. We are those bright influences now and next. We are those bright influences now and next. It, 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 if you can't get that at this point, then it's like, you know, just stop listening <laughs> because you, we all know who's of the bright. We are all of the bright who have come this way, who have ultimately extended themselves mind bodies and souls from that 2d state into the third dimensional state we're coming together as a collective as those stripe you know those those strong strong bright minds those strong strong you know influential um you know people not persons but as people as a collective as a strong collective of bright bronze beings or, or as these diamonded, plasmatic, bronze, golden beings. Let's put it that way. We know what we have to do. And, you know, at this point, it's, it's a no-brainer, you know. For the ones who still want to argue and say that coming together at this point, or not coming together, but coming together as a, yeah, coming together as a collective, as these bright bronze beings, you know, if we had more of that, do you know how, fast you know things would speed up do you know how fast things will speed up do you understand how you know the eradication of the human race will happen a lot faster you're going to be seeing these people dying out dying left and right at all you know day and night dying from this 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 strong direct current that's coming down here no they're, they're dying because they can't put up you know they can't they can no longer be those influences anymore because they know that that energy is not of their energy and, and they can't take it so you know they can't continue to fake the funk they can't do any of these things no more because it's 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 drained them they've been drained dry they've been drained dry of creativity um and just basically you know trying to influence us we're not being influenced no more 